to mention just, I mean, we're only like a month or so into this character and the Plunge game looks insane. Yeah. I just cannot imagine like a year from now what it's going to be like getting hit by this character. Yeah. I mean, There's already zero to death like found. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, dropping it right there. He wanted the Nair to continue it. Extension. Uh, but people just already applying pressure. And this matchup might be a bit tough. I know um, Dark Blues did have trouble with Black Sheep, another Mega Man player, just last week. So, not sure if this is a great matchup for Kazuya. Yeah, I mean, despite Kazuya having a reflector, it's just not at the speed to really handle Mega Man's just complete barrage of projectiles. Yeah. So, it's, it's going to be... Kazuya is going to have to utilize like some of the bigger like meteor hits to kind of hit through like maybe a leaf shield or a pellet and then completely optimize their combo oh. and punish game just like that. Yeah. You've got to be getting kills every time you can. Yeah, and now we have Tekken Rage <laughs> stacked upon Smash Rage. So right here, once they get, they're able to deal 40% of, take a threshold of 40% until they lose this or they can... Um, dude, that grab right there, and that does like 40 on its yeah, own. Yeah, it's it's crazy. Yeah. yeah, and another thing, um, there's super armor on that grab, or the armor. I don't know if it's super, but yeah. the armor on the grab, it can come in handy with these a lot of weak hits from Mega Man. Yeah. If um, Dark Blues gets a good read of when they're pelleting, they could potentially just grab through it and not care. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, saving, saving their the double jump. jump. Yes, because he is able to jump after their up B. Pretty broken tactic because the upbeat looks a lot like the actual double jump. Yeah, the, I sometimes, and vice versa, sometimes they jump. I'm like, did they upbeat? And sometimes they upbeat, and I'm like, did they yeah. jump? So you, it, you just got to know by the distance of yeah. it. it yeah. It's it's a good recovery for a character of his archetype. Yeah. Definitely uh, makes him more threatening. Yeah, who, who thought fighting game characters will have great recoveries? Like, <laughs> all right, but now getting walled out by leaf shield and pellets. Pete Bro making a comeback. Yeah, this is going to be the story. If um, Dark Dark Blues can't get like a nice kill like they got last stock, Pete Pro is going to be able to definitely play the War of Attrition and rack up really quick percent on Kazuya with just their super strong zoning tools. Yeah. So Dark Blues, it's going to need the stock pretty soon. Otherwise, I could see him going into a deficit. Yeah, and we already see Pete Bro making the comeback right now. And... You already see it gone. Yeah, and that's a lead from Keepro and a good ledge position. Yeah, and the rage is gone, so he doesn't have to, like the supreme damage from that grab anymore. So now he has to look for something else. Okay, oh. fair taking it. Don't see that move kill too often, just because they usually kill you off one of their many combos. But yeah. I guess it does have some kill power on it. Yeah, that, that's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> oh my god, just dashing into the F smash, and we have a one stock game extra. -o. Yeah, I and mean, this could be anyone's. I think if Dark Blues is able to get really good extensions like this, oh. it might just end right here. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. But keeping it up despite dropping some stuff. Yeah, try to do a command grab right there, but Kazuya's jump is just not that high. You would have to IDJ that. Oh. And up B takes it. Yeah, and right there, it shows the stripes of a good player from Dark Blues, because despite dropping some confirms a few times, they kept up the pressure. They didn't let deter them, and Kazuya's got great pressure, and you saw right there, basically, just a, one huge sequence from nothing to death on a heavy character like Mega Man, and that up B, I was going to mention earlier, its kill power is really crazy. Yeah, it, you would think there shouldn't be a hitbox there, but there is, and it's massive, and it's they can do it fairly as an out of shield option if you're like above them. So, combos right into there. Kills Mega Man 140 to end hit. Yeah, which Kazuya did get really quickly from just damaging pressure in general. So, I think um, when it comes to Mega Man, it's just you just gotta keep your consistency in zoning. You can't let Kazuya get in ever. Um, yeah. If they do, that's what happens. So. We'll see if uh, Pete Bro is able to just do stronger zoning. Oh, two up or tilts. Two up tilts. <laughs> that did 50. <laughs> I've never seen two up tilts combo, like, go into each other like that from Mega Man. Yeah, Dark Blue's, I don't think, ready to tech there because I don't think he was ready for just a raw low percent up tilt, and neither yeah. was me, to be honest. Yeah, I'm pretty sure all three of us got hit. Even yeah. even you, chat. <laughs> yeah, everyone in chat got hit. Yeah, and chat's probably, someone in chat's like, no, I didn't get hit. I, I expected that. <laughs> 
My friend does it to me all the time. It's optimal. Ooh. Yeah. Reading the air dodge right there with that L smash. And reading that, that drift down with taking the stock right back. Yeah, Peepro needed to close that out. Otherwise, with the rage, it could have been like a 70% deficit in a blink of an eye. So yeah. good stuff on Peepro. Exploiting the slow jump of Kazuya and getting that edge guard. Yeah. Oh, grabbed him right out there. Oh, he tried to go for it. Yeah, so nothing leads from a grab lead kills at that high percent. Oh, Ooh, but dropping it. And picking it back up. Yeah. You're able to react to the DI right there. So it's a fairly easy, and he's, you kind of know he's going to like follow the DI with the platform. So it's almost like a guaranteed situation. Oh, man. And now it's just like really hard for people to go go out because you would have wanted to use the platform so like platform camp Kazuya for like at least a bit but now you don't have that luxury yeah because you're just down by so much no that's exactly what i was thinking people in the in the middle of the stage throwing out these projectiles and dark blues was doing the right thing just standing there because why bother you got a lead as Kazuya. you're heavy you can just wait for people to approach and have a really strong position so yeah. dark blue is playing it smart just staying right here not bothering giving Mega Man that attention yeah and because is seventh heaviest in the game so he's gonna live for a while all right grab him that's game <laughs> yeah that's oh, game. game i think Mega Man was on the stage for one frame after yeah. getting thrown there i was not expecting that yeah. And that's a heavy character too. At 80, I got grabbed at 88 and just nothing. He just exploded. Like, look at this. Stalling with the up E. Cover it. And just arm is through through it. And 88, just out of here. We don't we don't want him. Yeah, I mean, if you saw that set and still don't think Kazuya has. Like top tier threat level, I, I think you're just not opening your eyes because yeah. even against a character you would think would be the antithesis of Kazuya, you would think they have everything they can to zone them out. Kazuya has tools to get around it. I mean, this this character is such strong tools in neutral and such insane punish game and kill power that there's just no way they can't be really strong. So I'm excited to see where Dark Blues goes with this character. I'm also excited. Not, not excited to get hit at 40 and die when well, playing Dark Blues, but. Uh, 